first commander Zoro no Wadoro. Fleet commander Rono. Ay, itong gawin siya sa tigawang lab. Punta. Patay nila ang lola. Patay na ako. Death, my God. Heart of death. Okay, because the spot. Not bad. Four, six. Six. It's a park mall, right? Park mall. Huh? Oh, it's okay. Ito kasi lang siya mga ngayon eh. Oo, natuwa na ito. Hindi, parking mall yan. Ito yung tag-quarto. Saan may parking doon ito?
intense to. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Gago ayaw i-play sa pupuang. Ay gago pa rin nila. Patay pa nila itong tiguro. Hindi na patapat yung doctor ng tan. Dahil siya sila. There are bears around here.
We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure the hell can make you suffer.
my breath. This is my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody no. takes my knife. You stabbed me! You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Please, you, you can... You can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane light. <laughs> Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh! I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is. It's Max. Love you. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you, what? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's... fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Button does the press to them. Do it. Too much something this thing. Okay, okay. 
Ah. Nice and tender for you. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, unless these cars look like they've already been stripped apart, it's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Documentary. No, shut up. Let's go. Oh. 
mau ke pak sama tobo yang kamu tuh wah aku dong ini pak Jadi kamu tuh ini sinari. Buat motor. Nah, sih ada. Oh, dah. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. Finish it, Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably he safe when we are out here. Come on. Mission self care search for disabled vehicle. I scan and the ikaki.
Ash. Did you press after again? So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Look. Kila ko ni tao dito ay. Ang kilip niya sa kina no. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, right, you know that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Come back, grabber. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. She did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! I 
Layat mau gudang buku. Tapi satu gun. Tak lagi nuh. Apa satu gun? Kita bas pungkul kena i. Pungkul mana? Ini baby. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. Okay. So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. Car. Yeah, and yeah. Just pass on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake up, we're running from cold. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power. Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. What'd you find? Just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know it's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there, right? In the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. If that makes sense. Oh, you think so? Does it? Does it sorta? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um, oh, have you ever, like, made a firm decision about anything? Ever? 
Cut the shit, Emma. Show's over. Go home. Fuck you! Oh, well, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. Might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. What was that? I think we found Chris Hackett. Yeah. <laughs> 
to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> Sorry, love. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case, it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance, one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Shoes. The sun, judgment. No, that was a cave. I don't know if she bought you. One last time. Go back. Go back. Oh, last and time. End this. One last time. Keep playing on Bagasa. No? <laughs> the table, help me. 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 Help can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, 
We should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Find a vintage coin. Vintage coin. Vintage coin. Point. Point. Where am I heading? Which is it? And some that didn't. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> This summer, what doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Life meets for life, for God's sake. Say. Shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hackateers. Two months and you never learn the words? the <laughs> lyrics. <laughs> Showtime, motherfuckers. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? What the? Si 
Abi na abi pa. Tagong wire tay. Run. I should run. Let's go. Let's go. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. The curse is broken. Whatever the cost, whatever darkness from the night still remains, the future, at least, is now a little brighter. What happened to this family they brought upon themselves, and you shouldn't pity them. I knew I could rely on you. 
I knew that if orchestrated properly, the events of Hackett's quarry would unfold just the way I wanted them to. And now, well, I suppose, I suppose it's goodbye. Don't worry. I'll never forget how you helped me. It rings and I rise, wipe the sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razors grow and it stings. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a Now you know how happy I can be Oh, and our good time starts and ends Without our love one to spend But how much, baby, do we really need? Cheer up, sleepy Jean Oh, what can it mean to us? Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most...
Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I have braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us, whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like, slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No! Give me your fucking key! No! Get your own key! Not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root. Um, being jostled. Uh, in uneven, uh row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? 
Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can Right, but I, I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more power. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you're just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Well, I'll bear that in mind for later. But, that's where the trail goes a little cold. What about the family? Can they verify it? No. In fact, they've completely gone to ground. Nobody's heard from them since. Who can blame them? Innocent people don't hide, Anton. Hmm. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just 
say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you? Don't I don't want you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is this real? Well. That is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! God! Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know that. what's that thing. There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Pixar didn't happen, right? Well, Pix, so did happen. No, Pix... You can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to... I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me... No! I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. Okay, I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. What an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin? Fur? Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right. I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see this.
Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill... Share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself? To cynicism. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. 